quick, this is basically the log of the crash. And um, one thing I want to sort of indicate, a lot of the forums seem to say that you're supposed to wait for all your GPS satellites to sort of connect uh, before even lifting. Um, now, the issue I have with that is the software doesn't even let you, or the drone itself doesn't let you go past five meters um, until you have fully locked in. So I don't see that being a, an issue, to be honest. Um, that, that was the first thought when the crash occurred, but I thought, well, that doesn't really make sense, to be honest. Um, so anyways, as we go, so basically this is, the drone is actually trying to connect here, okay? So um, I, I went five meters, I believe it was, um, and basically just waited, just waited until it's sort of engaged. You will see a sort of like a red icon up here in the map when it finally locked in all the appropriate satellites that it needed. Once it did that, I sort of lifted, I went a bit higher um, just to get the home point and waited. I basically waited, hovered for the home point. So here's the message, home point set. So technically speaking, I'm good to go. That's usually has been the case previous times so, uh, using Mac, uh, Mavic Air. And I've had zero issues. I've took it many places um and I had, literally had no issues the the worst issue i had was possibly losing communication with it however when that occurs as you guys know um it just hovers right it waits for you to connect if it doesn't ha if the if it doesn't com connect in a certain matter of time it'll sort of go back to its home point uh, i've never had it come back um basically I, I was always able to sort of connect with it eventually so here I'm thinking, okay, great. So the, the, the actual point of the flight was to just literally hover in my backyard. Um, I wasn't planning to fly it away anywhere. And uh, I just wanted to, you know, get get it powered on and uh, get it working in the backyard. And uh, as you can see here, I'm sort of, uh, I'll rise it up above the house. I just wanted to get it higher uh, than the actual house. So I am sort of adjusting it, moving it back and forth a bit, making sure everything's okay. Um, and then as I got to the point of, I, I wanted to get it about maybe yeah, 15 meters possibly, 15 to 20 meters up in the air. Um, and as I got it to where I wanted it, this is where the strangest thing ever happened. <laughs> I've never had this occur on an expensive drone. Let's put it that way, um, on a pricey drone. So basically here, uh, the drone literally just, it's like somebody took my remote, switched to sports mode, and just took off. All right, and I'm looking at my remote. I'm thinking, what the heck? First of all, I'm thinking I got to get more height because there's tall trees across the road, which I wasn't even planning on going. Um, so I'm trying to, as you can see, the joy, joystick pad, I'm actually lifting it, but nothing's really, it's not as response, like, I'm still thinking I'm connected, but uh it's not flying the way I fly it. Let's put it that way. I've never done sports mode, first of all. And I've never seen it go this fast. So I assumed it's in sports mode. And basically here I'm thinking, whoa, something is wrong. As it got around this point, I still had perfect vision of it. I tried to actually switch it on sports mode and on the, on the remote. Uh, I've read on many forums way back when. That if you engage it in sports mode, it should the drone itself should disengage of what it's actually doing. However, in my case, nothing happened. All right, absolutely not. So it's still going. So here, as you can see on the joy joy pads, I'm thinking, well, I kind of don't want to go that high. It was actually lifting higher than I wanted it to go, and basically, the altitude. Uh, I I in this and when I'm in my own neighborhood, I don't go uh, and fly it around past 30 meters okay so and it was around that and it kept going higher uh, i felt as though the speed was uh it was crazy fast i've never gone fast i'm gonna say maybe i don't know uh 15 20 kilometers an hour and this is going what 60 so it's gonna hit 60 eventually so um nothing i can do really i have zero control uh didn't even indicate that that the uh connection was disengaged it usually tells you the downlink, downlink has been lost. That never occurred. And uh, in the end, I ended up in a tree right there. Well, I didn't. The drone did because I, like I said, no control. And the rear, it actually hit the rear. The rear was all done. Um, the front was fine. The camera and all that stuff. 
So the moral of the story is um, Mavic Air is an issue. I honestly think they have an issue. Um, and I bought into the whole marketing scheme of the Vision Compass, which I think is the issue here. First of all, it's not the GPS. The GPS, they were all locked in. I got the home point, and it was correct. Um, so it was fully connected with the GPS. And the other issue that people usually mention is the wind. The wind wasn't the case. It was uh, There was literally no winds. Five kilometers an hour, I think, on the on the very bottom. About If you go 50 meters, which I never even reached, even when this one took off, it never reached 50 meters. If you go 50 meters, I, uh, it was about 17 kilometers an hour. I've done... 45 kilometers an hour and it wouldn't and there was no issues with the drone so having said that the only thing that's sort of left over is the compass now the pro version of mavic have two actual compasses on board all right so this one the, this one has a thing called vision you look it up it, it's really not a compass so be careful if you got a mavic uh, air um i certainly wouldn't go buy it again it's fantastic. I love the look of it. I love the size of it. I love the fact that you can travel with it, but it's a dangerous product, to be honest with you. It is a dangerous product. Uh, for me, at least, I don't, I don't want to risk anybody uh, else's, else's uh, you know, I don't want to risk anybody's life here. Uh, I usually, like I said, I don't fly it in areas that are populated. I like abandoned areas, as you, as you can see in my channel. I like to get shots of abandoned areas etc however um i would not suggest this for even abandoned areas because it will end up in a tree eventually uh it didn't do it first 50 flights um but that 51st is the one that did it i think i just want to point out before i close this video is basically if you read what a compass air usually does it, it, it sends the drone in sort of a critical mode and basically it, when you look at this line of flight it, it looks like a toilet bowl. That's what they refer to as toilet bowl flight. Uh, so it's definitely compass uh, related. Um, and as for the, I was mentioning winds earlier in the video. Um, those are gusts I'm talking about. So that's as fast as uh, it should be up there. So there's no way, I'm telling you, it was. Uh, there's no way at 17 kilometers per hour at 50 meters, which I never reached, um, the drone would have taken off such as the way it did. And so anyways, I just want to close the video on that just to show you sort of uh, the, um, the uh, there's my home point, as I mentioned, it locked in. And this is where it sort of uh, it took off from here. Uh, it actually sent back battery information, which was interesting. Uh, it did send back information, even though the remote wasn't connected. Uh, I was sending stuff back or uh, there's the altitude. Uh, showing meters here. So like I said, I don't go past 30. Interest interesting enough, I was freaking out because it looked like it kept just going up to me where I was standing. And uh, this is where I try to switch it on sports mode around here, as I mentioned. And just before the crash, um, as you can see, it was descending. Uh, we're at 20-something meters. And uh, yeah, so anyways, I just wanted to finish the video there. There's the tree it ended up in. And uh, be careful, guys. Buy insurance if you can. Um, I know um, DJI uh, provides refresh. Uh, if you're uh, buying the air, get it 100%. <laughs> um, and if you're buying it through a regular store, get their insurance. It, it, unfortunately, this this is going to occur. I'm telling you right now, I don't want to jinx any. Maybe I had a bad uh, product. Uh, I don't believe it is because I don't believe in vision anymore. Uh, the way it was sort of marketed, I kind of fell for the ploy. Anyways, good luck, guys. Safe flying.